Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 44 of the Adobe Animate tutorial series. So today we're going to look at how to uh, get to audio compression options inside of Adobe Animate. So once you import an audio inside of Adobe Animate, uh, it's usually for web publishing and therefore we need the file size of the audio to be small. So usually when we bring uh, mp3 files like this, the file size is quite heavy. So if you're targeting uh, audiences with slow internet speed connections, then they might need to wait a long time before they can access your content. So usually we uh, want to bring down the audio quality so that uh, it loads faster on their internet connection speed. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to library and over here, uh, I'm going to select the audio uh, clip that I want to edit. So I'm just going to go to audio. I'm going to right click it and go to properties just like this. So over here by default, you'll have MP3 because uh, this is what I imported. So besides that, you can see that this will be the file size. That is, it'll be around 5 MB because it's 5000 KB. Uh, on the default, it uh, leaves the audio onto the, its original file size. So usually you don't want to do that. You want to select something else. So if I were to bring down, let's say uh, select ADPCM, all right, which uh, converts the stereo into mono and is for web play. You can bring down the sample rate uh, to 22 kilohertz. I suggest not to bring down the sample rate too much because it'll sound like a video game, an old 80, um, 80s video game which uh, does not have much high quality sound. So you can bring down the depth as well and you can sa see that it converts this 5000 uh, KB into 744 KB right here. So uh, this is for compression A DPCM. MP3 is usually the imported MP3, qu MP3 quality, but you can bring this down as well. So suppose you want to bring this down into let's say 64 kbps, which is for music. MP3 is great for music. So this is usually for animated videos. So if you don't have much sound effects, then you'd want to use ADPCM. And if not, if you have music, uh, you might want to stick to a bitrate of 64 kbps. So you can see that if I do this, that this brings down the 5,000 uh, kilobytes to 1,000 kilobyte, which is, uh, which is about uh, 1 MB. So RAW is actually uh, non-compressed um, uh, audio file. So it's usually not the best option. It actually brings up the uh, audio quality. All right. So speech is there. Uh, if you want to, uh, let's say, uh, speeds is uh, an audio quality that you want to use for voice commands. So if you are, if you just have voice inside your audio file, then this is the option you want to use and you can bring down the kilohertz if you want to as well. So you can see that this uh, brings down the 5000 uh, uh, kilobyte of uh, sound to about 372. But usually you don't need to worry about these things in today's context because the internet connections are fast. But if you are targeting those dial-up internet speed users, uh, then you might want to bring this down. So just press OK. And then when you export the SWF file, uh, it'll actually compress the audio for you. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.